Alright, hello everybody. It's me, I'm back again. Well, I'm not really back again, I'm just sort of back. Um, basically, I'm going to start doing LPs again some point soon. And um, I'm going to start a new one when I do come back. And it's going to be of, well, as you can probably plainly see, I'm going to do it a Rome Total War. Which is a Let's Play I've wanted to do for quite a long time, actually. Because, well, in all honesty, I've been playing Rome Total War probably as long, if not longer. Than I have been playing um, Morrowind, so just to give you an idea of how obsessed with I, this game I have been in the past, um, there's been a, there's been plenty of let's plays of Rome Total War, however, um, and you know there's a lot of options we can do with a let's play like this. You see, um, in terms of we play it modded or mod, not modded, or with what factions and so on and so forth. So what I have decided to do is basically give you guys the option to choose. So I'm going to do a couple of polls. The first poll is going to be deciding which version of the game we play and another poll is going to decide which faction we play essentially. Unless I change my mind, but anyway. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this in the background here, what you're seeing right now, is the vanilla game. The unmodded original Rome Total War. Um, which is good in and of itself, in all fairness. Um, I played a fair amount of it. Um, it's got its issues, I will admit. Um, however, it's still quite a lot of fun. And some people just prefer the original Bare Bones game to anything added to it, you know. So, there's a, there's that option. I quite like the vanilla game. I've not played it in a long time, though. Um, Rome Total War, it's fair to say, is one of those mods, I mean, sorry, mods, one of those games that I rarely play unmodded, a bit like Morrowind or Oblivion or whatever, especially Oblivion, you know. So, there's that. Or alternatively, we could play the game modded, which is what you're seeing right now. Basically, um, well, I'm going to go run through a few mods that I do have installed at the minute with you guys and uh, see if there's one that you particularly prefer. Um, so, to begin with, We've got this. This is Roma Serectum 2. It's like the version 2.0 of a mod that already existed for quite a while. And one of the main things that makes this mod stand out is the fact that it's so completely and utterly different from the original game. It's, you know, it's the same time period and everything. But it's so completely different, it's almost like playing a completely new Total War game. Like, everything about it has changed. The battlefields, as you can see, have changed. Uh, the units are all completely different, the traits are different, the campaign map is completely different, you know, the factions are completely different. Um, I play this mod probably the most out of all the ones I'm going to list for you, and I play it more than the original game as well. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it also has, like, its own soundtrack as well, like, it has completely new music and that sort of thing. So, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Basically, the graphics for it are majorly improved as well over the original games. You can probably tell there. But there's also other options you can you can add to it, like HDR lighting and things like that. That weren't in the original game as well, so that's pretty neat. So uh, anyway, yeah, as you, I'm not, I don't know if I've got any decent footage of this. I'll slap something together. Sorry, you can actually see what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is Romans Right Item Two. Um. I would possibly say it was my, no, I don't know, it's difficult to say which was my favourite, but it's one of my favourites of them, all the mods available. Um, I will say all the mods that I will be showing on here are all kind of Roman period ones, so don't be expecting stuff like Lord of the Rings mods and stuff like that, because it's, it's not happening, I'm not doing it, at least not this time. Um, I have played the Lord of the Rings mod for Rome Total War before, and yes, it's fun, but it's not as fun as these in my honest opinion. Um, so anyway, moving on, they, oh wait, no, I don't, you know what, I won't move on, I will, I, I've given you the pros of this thing, I'll give you the cons, well, there aren't many cons to it, honestly, um, the game comes in kind of two versions, one which is the so-called zero turn recruitment version and the one turn recruitment version, and basically the difference between them is, um, in zero turn recruitment mode you can recruit up to ten units in a town per turn. Whereas one turn recruitment mode is more like the original game where you could recruit one unit every turn in a town. Um, that's basically the only difference, but it has a lot of big gameplay ramifications because it means the AI can do it too. 
and therefore you meet, you get loads and loads and loads of big stacks of armies right from the beginning of the game, marching around all over the place, and sometimes when you get sort of later on into the game, it can become complete and utter overload. Like you're fighting 10, 20 battles per turn, it gets completely ridiculous. Um, so I tend to avoid the zero turn mode for that reason, I tend to play the, the one turn mode. Um, other drawbacks... Mm, I don't know really. Um, one major, major problem with it is that the battles in it are way too long. Um, the designers obviously felt that they wanted to do it that way, make it more slow paced and such like that. But and even though you can mod it using the options given they give you, the, the developers give you in the installer and stuff, um, you can change it to make the battles go a little bit faster. But even then, it's still quite slow, especially compared to the original game. Now, the original game the battles in that that probably lasted anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes at a push. In this, they can last up to an hour, quite literally. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. It might make making a let's play of it a little bit iffy. It depends, really, if you guys can put up with um, a single battle stretched out over multiple vids, as might possibly be the case, um, depending on the battle. But anyway, so that's, those are the major sort of drawbacks, I suppose. So anyway, moving on... Okay, next, what you're seeing right now is a mod that is called 77 BC, The Twilight of the Republic. Um, now, this is a mod that's, well, it's not particularly popular, and I've certainly never seen a Let's Play of it before. There might be one, for all I know. I've not seen a lot of Rome Total War Let's Plays, it has to be said. But, um, uh, I've never seen a Let's Play of this mod, um, and not a lot of people play it, but I actually quite like it. I wouldn't say it's probably my favourite mod or anything like that, but it has a few interesting things about it that draw me to it. So, basically, 77 BC is, as the title suggests, unlike the original game, which begins in around like 280 BC or something like that, back when Rome is fighting Carthage and Hannibal's around and all that kind of stuff, 77 BC starts in 77 BC, and it's as, it, as the title suggests, it's about the Twilight of the Republic. So basically, this mod, one, one of the things that makes it the most interesting is, well, you know, it's got a decent set of units in it, a decent set of factions, maybe a more unique set of factions than most mods offer because it's set in a later time frame. Um, but the main thing that makes it so interesting is that it's set in a period of Roman history people are, are a lot more familiar with. And as a result of that, it being set in 77 BC, you can use as generals on the campaign map and as governors actual historical figures like Julius Caesar and Gnaeus Pompey Magnus and Cicero and Brutus and guy. Basically, anyone who is in the HBO Rome TV series <laughs> essentially is in this mod. Um, so you literally, Julius Caesar is quite literally a guy on the campaign map who leads armies and stuff and. You basically get to a point in the game where you can, you know, turn the Republic into an empire. Hence, the Twilight of the Republic. Um, so it's pretty interesting from that point of view. You know, it has a different campaign map to the original vanilla game, I believe. Um, one of the main things interesting about it from a gameplay perspective is obviously you're starting off the game with Rome already dominating much of the Mediterranean, which kind of completely changes up the way the game's played for both Rome and for any of the other factions in the game, although the game's clearly designed for you to really play as Rome, even though the other ones are available. Um, you also have things like, you know, interesting things like you have uh, Roman rebels in the form of Quintus Sertorius and his little rebellion in Spain, so you can play as this other Roman faction if you want to that's rebelling against the Senate and that kind of thing. So it's pretty neat from that point of view. Um, starting off the game with all of Caesar's legions already instead of having to go through the long slog on the way to getting the Marian reforms and stuff like you did have to do in the original game and like you have to do in say Romus Erectum. So I don't know. I'm curious to see what people think of this one because I don't think it's a mod that a lot of people really know about but I quite like it. Um, you would have noticed from the battle footage that it has the same kind of battle environment that Romus Erectum had, and the reason for that is um, I I really, really like Romus Erectum's battle maps, so I basically modded them into all of the other mods I have, <laughs> essentially. I didn't put them in the original vanilla, vanilla game, sorry, um, but they're in all the other mods I've got, because I just think they're freaking awesome, and it barely affects the game at all beyond looking really, really nice. So... 
yeah, there's that. So anyway, yeah, that was 77 BC. Curious to see what you guys think about it. As for the drawbacks with this one, um, well, I think the main problem with 77 BC is that it's kind of probably buggier than the other games, uh, like the, the sorry, the other mods on this little list here. Um, and it's also pretty damn rough around the edges. Like, I think it's based off like an old version of Rome Total Realism. And it even still says Rome Total Realism on the campaign screen and stuff. So, uh, and a lot of the faction logos and the graphics and the mod are a bit haphazard and slapdash and, you know, not particularly professionally put together. So it's no, it's no Romus Rectum. You know, it's not, it doesn't look particularly pretty or anything like that. Um, but from a pure gameplay perspective, it's still quite good, is all I'm saying. Um, so that's probably worth bearing in mind. Um, and moving on to the last, but by no means the least, uh, final choice. We have Invasio Barbarorum, if I pronounce that correctly. Now, this is an interesting mod, because it's, technically speaking, it's not, well, strictly speaking, it's not a mod for Rome Turtle War. It's actually a mod for the expansion, Barbarian Invasion. Um... So, what, what's Invasio Barbarorum about? Don't, not to be confused with Europa Barbarorum, which is a, another mod which is, in all honesty, far more popular, but I've never really liked very much. Um, Invasio Barbarorum is a mod for Barbarian Invasion, like I said, but it's very much like Romus Erectum in that it completely takes it apart and throws in new units and buildings and a new map and all that kind of thing. Um, and completely changes the game up while still keeping it within the same time frame. And essentially, for those who don't really know, it's a game, you know, it's a time period where, you know, Rome doesn't much look like it does in your school textbooks anymore. It's changed, like, I, th I believe it's set at the turn of the 5th century, so it's like 410 AD is when the campaign starts for this. Um, where the Roman Empire has been split into the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, which are both separate, you know, playable factions in this. Um, there's also a rebel emperor in the form of Constantius, I think he's called, who basically owns a lot of Gaul. And basically the Western Roman Empire is on the brink of collapse. And it can be a real challenge for a human player to take control of the Western Roman Empire in the campaign and try and stop them from collapsing, essentially. And to sort of rebuild the Roman Empire to its sort of former glory. So again, like 77 BC, it starts off with the Romans dominating much of the map. Um, even if they are split into like three different factions this time. And um, it's one of my favourite mods, this one. In fact, I might even say it is my favourite mod full stop, for the simple reason that I find the time period itself actually absolutely fascinating. Um, like, all the units are so, so, so fresh compared to the like standard legionaries and stuff that you're used to from playing the original game, the other mods, because, you know, the legionaries in, you know, the, the 5th century AD, they look completely different to the old ones did. You know, as you can see on here, they've got chain mail, they've got trousers, they've got round shields, they've got long swords, you know, they look distinctly more medieval than they used to. Um, and I think that's actually kind of fascinating, you know, and the Romans are employing lots of barbarian troops as well, they're called Fodorati, I believe. Um, which are barbarians that have been kind of accepted into the Roman Empire, you know, so long as they agree to help defend it from invaders. Um, so it's it's a fascinating period of history, and it's an absolutely fascinating mod. It's also had a ridiculously difficult mod as well. Um, it's designed with the intent that they want to make a super duper challenging experience, especially if you're playing as the Western Roman Empire. Um, I've done a couple of campaigns of the Western Roman Empire. I've never finished them, mind you. I've done them though, and it is pretty bloody difficult. Like Rome literally gets sacked by the Goths within about, you know, turn two, um, and there's like six full stacks of Goths marching around in the middle of Italy, and you've got very little way of defending yourself. So it is super duper challenging. So if you want to watch me suffer, there's the Western Roman Empire. Maybe this mod would be the best one to choose, I guess. But of course, there's plenty of other factions in it. Um, that you could vote for, mind you. You know, you could, I could play as one of the barbarian factions. I could, I could play as the Sassanid Persian Empire. Um, the Romano-British, I believe, are a separate faction in this. Um, in the original barbarian invasion, they kind of they were just a faction that emerged. Um, if you let Britain rebel, but they start off in this as a playable faction. Um, 
which is basically, for those who don't know, it's when Rome kind of pulled out of Britain to send its legions back home to try and defend the empire. Um, Britain didn't automatically become sort of Anglo-Saxon barbarians. They kind of went through a period before the Saxons actually invaded Britain where you had these British kingdoms living in Britain who were vaguely Roman. They were, well, you know, hence the name Romano-British. You know, they still had a lot of Roman equipment and uh, Roman buildings and Roman laws and stuff. And it's from that period where the whole legend of King Arthur comes from. And f as a result of that, from the, the theory that King Arthur himself was in fact a Roman centurion called Artorius Castus. That's where that comes from. So, um, you know, on the, on the whole, it's a bloody interesting period of history. Although I can appreciate maybe not everyone's interested in it as I am, you know, it's pretty niche stuff. Um, you know, from that point of view, it's kind of a miracle this mod even exists. But anyway, so there you go. Um, so, basically, yeah, that's it. The, the downsides this mod, as I said, is the, the difficulty, I guess. I think even on medium difficulty, the game is pretty bloody challenging. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of any serious downsides. I mean, it's a really great mod. I have a lot of fun playing it. So, uh, anyway, there you go. Those are the four choices, I believe. Yeah, four choices. You can vote for the original game. You can vote for Romus Rectum 2. You can vote for 77 BC, or you can vote for this Invasio Barbarorum. Um, so I will leave it up to you guys. Just leave whichever one you want to vote for in the comments, I guess, and I'll sort of tally it up, and, um... The winner will 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 be eventually doing a let's play of. So there you go. That's all for now, and um, have a nice day, everyone. And I'll see you again pretty darn soon. Ta-da.